So your feet are hurting and you want to know how to make heels more comfortable. I'm with you. I am 5 foot 2. I wear heels most of the time. A few years ago, I had to figure out how to prevent heels from hurting because my wedding was coming up. So I need comfortable heels so that I can wear it all day long and dance in it all night. So what makes heels comfortable and what doesn't? If you're thinking it's because your heels are too high or because your heels are too narrow, that's what's hurting you, I'm gonna tell you it's probably not what you think. Have you ever noticed some of your heels might be higher than others, but they don't necessarily hurt? Here's an example. This pair and this pair, they're about the same height. I can stand and walk in this one for a long period of time, but I can barely stand in this for more than 10 minutes. A lot of people think chunky heels should be more comfortable than narrow heels, but is that true? You would think the wedges should be more comfortable than the narrow heels, but that's not the case either. I bought the wedges so that I can wear it for my commute, but I found out I could barely walk in it in 15 minutes and then they will start to hurt. On the other hand, the black boots they look narrow, but they're super comfortable to stand in or to walk in. So it's something else. What? Oh. Don't get me wrong, the height of your heels and the shape of it, they both matter to a degree. But there's one thing that's critical in the design of the shoes, the structure of the heels that nobody is talking about, and that's why you probably didn't know. What exactly is that? If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notice to get my weekly videos on how to style for your height and your body type. I found out the slope of the heels. The heels need to gradually go up from here to here. So this is called the incline. The more gradual it is, the more comfortable your heels are. Incline is such a critical structure in the design of high heels, but very few people is talking about it, so most of us don't know it. Like this one, even though the heels are slender, the gradual incline is going to make it very comfortable. And this one is the opposite. Even though it has a wedge, it got a steep incline, so less comfortable. You need to get shoes have gradual incline. What makes the incline gradual and what makes it steep? It's a distance between the sole and the heel. The longer the distance from here to here, the more gradual your heels are. Now, you can do this experiment with your heels. Put two pairs toe to toe and heel to heel. What do you notice? Leave me a comment below. In my case, the beige shoes is about half an inch longer in the distance between the heel and the sole. Like this one. It's a very short distance. A more steep heel, it'll hurt more. And the reason is pretty simple. Every time when your heels start to hurt, which part of your foot do you use first feel the pain? The balls of your feet. And that's because when you're standing or walking, that part of the feet is holding most of your body weight. So the more of your body weight is on the balls of your feet, the more it's gonna hurt. And in order to make your high heels more comfortable, your high heels need to be able to distribute your body weight evenly. That's why the incline of the heels are so important because the longer the distance between here and there, the less weight is gonna be on this part of your feet and more weight is gonna be on this part of your feet. That is what makes your high heels more comfortable. Well, here's another hack I discovered before my wedding. These are the silicon inserts from Dr. Shows that I was using on my wedding. They were absolutely lifesavers. And since then, I have bought so many pairs. And I will leave the link down below. I've tried so many different kinds of inserts and these were the best. The middle part of it is thicker. The arch of your feet support it. And that's really important to make sure your weight is evenly distributed. Another tip, I'm sure you already know to go with platform sandals, like this one. What I want to mention though, is that if you're petite like myself, you want to avoid the very thick platform. 
because that can actually change your body proportion and make you, your legs is gonna look even shorter when you wear a very high platform. The reason that your heels are hurting is because of size issue. It may sound very obvious, of course you know your size, the size of your shoes, but our feet actually, the size changes. When you're shopping for shoes, make sure you select the shoes in the afternoon when your feet are a little swollen. If the back of your shoes are hurting and you're getting blisters, I always do. It's very common that we get blisters with a pair of new shoes. Besides, if I don't wear them for a long time, the next time I wear them, they're gonna give me blisters all over again. I used to just use bandage, and recently I discovered the blister blocks. You can just rub it on to prevent it from happening. I will leave the link down below. And that will prevent your heel, the back of your heels from hurting. If you're petite like me, you probably are wearing heels because you want a few extra inches. Besides wearing heels, there are also other ways to make you appear taller and leaner. And sometimes if you use these tricks, you don't even have to wear heels. And watch this playlist of videos of how to look taller and leaner. And let me know if you have tried some of this and what has worked for you and what hasn't.